he made changes with both his hitting and pitching coaches, both from within the program former players. Bruins at two and two, those two losses to Texas and a strikeout for Tinsley to start things off. 40 games in four days coming your way, starting on Thursday, and that's a bloop single out to right. Ramirez may have gotten injured on the play, looked like she was fighting the sun all the way. Hard hit off the glove of Brady, and Tim will hold it third. Runners on the corners here. Wong slices that one the opposite way. The new right fielder is back. Megan Graham, it's over her head. She may have lost that in the sun, and a run will score. They choose to pitch to Wong, and she picks up the RBI. 3-1 you know, count, Tinsley does a good job of throwing a changeup and gets Wong to swing through it, but then comes back and gives her a pitch on a 3-2 count. It's hard on the lower half, a curveball that just doesn't get out of the zone enough, and Wong just goes with it the other way. Megan Grant having a hard time trying to fight that sun. Popped her up, and Woolery's got it at first. The expectation is not only to get to the World Series, but win championships, yeah. and she has handled it all remarkably well. And she draws the walk here. And a swing and a miss. And Ivy gets the strikeout one down. Miscu from such a veteran staff. Backhanded at first, the race is on, and the Pokes will win it. Carly Godwin steps on the bag the starting job at second base. Yeah, well, she's young, she's gonna make a couple little mistakes, but is very talented. Bobbled by Brady. Launches that one. Right center, back it goes, and it's gone! Megan Bloodworth home run! First of the year for Megan. A two-run shot, and the error proves costly. Megan Bloodworth, transfer over from Alabama a couple years ago, struggled a little bit last year, but she has found herself a home at shortstop, really good job defensively, and now the confidence has turned over into that batter's box as well. Pitch on the outer half, she just extends those hands and drives that ball the opposite way. That's a curve ball that just doesn't get out of the zone enough and Bloodworth is gonna catch up with it. She lets it get a little bit deep. She hit two against New Mexico State. They, they were her only two of the season. And she gets one here, backhanded at second. Edwards able to leg it out. Yes, by the way, breaking news, Taylor Swift has arrived at Allegiant Stadium. <laughs> She is in the house, and a strikeout for Tinsley. That one's in the dirt. Edwards will advance to second, so a runner in scoring position. There's a rocket out to center back, and making the grab is Jadlin Alchin on the edge of the track. Defensive component of the game for you. Palacios goes the opposite way, off the top of the wall, and she will be held to a long single when they started the year two and three. Chopped, and that'll get through, base hit. So back-to-back -back knocks for the Bruins. Getting some aggressive swings. Alchin behind the base, and the tag applied at second by Rosie Davis to get Savvy Pola. Really working that hard drop ball. Hot shot to second, the spin for one over the first base, not in time. They get one out, and a run is in as Palacio scores. Hops up on Bloodworth, but she covers, and the side is retired. Yanked down the line, back towards the track, and just down the line, the catch is made by Taylor Stevens. Right back to Kilfoyle, one down to the World Series with both of those programs. Well, last year, you know, toward the end of the year, she really did a good job. I think at one point, Kenny Gaskin said, I really even feel like she's our ace. Oh. Ramsey Suarez. Oh. And right at the second baseman, Rosie Davis. Side retired, one stranded, three complete. They don't return one of those this year after the departure of Megan Foreno, so we'll see how it plays out as Schneidmiller leads things off with 
what looked to be a base hit. And she tried to stretch it into a double and gets thrown out. Well, one thing about this UCLA field is it plays very fast, and we've seen a lot of balls hit to the wall, but they get in very quick. It's sometimes hard to expand a single into a double. Great job by Alchin out in center field to get this in quickly to Savvy Pola, who is easily going to be able to get Schneidmiller out. So a nice hit into the gap. Alums so proud of the legacy, so proud of the success here. This is a big deal today for them. Brady had to go deep in the hole for that and too much speed from Rosie Davis. Goes that way, looking for a gap, and she'll find it. That will reach the base of the wall. They are waving the runner home, and now slamming on the brakes is Rosie Davis on the throw in for Claire Tim. Doubled in the first, struck out in the second. And that hitter. Bases are loaded for the number three hitter, Carly Godwin. And it's snagged by Malaulu at third. Action. And back up the middle for a base hit. If you yeah. keep winning, you will only have to play one game a day. But easier said than done. As Kilfoyle gets the strikeout of Stevens, one base hit, one left on. Appearances behind Megan Ferrino and Brooke Yannis. And she'll take care of Wong here. And Puyo draws the one out walk. And expand the zone, see if they come back underneath the hands a lot. They're working out. There's a shot back to the track, back to the wall, and it's off the scoreboard and out. Two run home run. Katie Lott. Second of the day for the Pokes. And a 5-1 lead. Well, and also another 1-2 count. So ahead in the count. And Tinsley tries to get back underneath the hands and just leaves it a little too sweet. So she goes outside to take the count to 1-2, tries to get underneath the hands. And it just looked like Lot was ready for it and just barrels that up and gets it out of the short park. And look at what the Cowgirls have done this opening weekend. 35-5 now, outscoring foes. Ground ball to second. Pola stays down on that. But allowing for three assistant coaches. Davis sends one back. Deep and gone. Another one off the scoreboard. The bottom of the Calgary lineup is crushing. This on a 1 1 count. In the eight hole, Rosie Davis has had a great game. She's gotten on an error, a base hit, and now the home run, trying to get underneath her hands. And this is that rise ball that Tinsley throws a little bit too close to the zone. It's at the hands instead of above the hands. And that's the difference for a rise ball pitcher. You've got to be at the eyes and above the hands instead of at the hands. And that ball just lays a little flat, and Davis just drives it out of the park for a solo shot. One more, chop to Brady. That took a funny hop, too, and it gets by Woolery at first base. Bloodworth charges into second. Sooners won all their games their opening weekend. Their winning streak is at 57 in a row. Edwards launches one. That's back to the wall, and that gets out. Their third home run in their last six at-bats off of two different pitchers. Well, this is a team that is just swinging it right now, knowing what they're looking for. Pitch on the inner half that Edwards is just going to turn on a 3-1 count. You can see the way she loads. Look at that weight back, so you can really tell she's driving off that backside, rotates around and drives that ball out of the park for a two-run shot. That's a base hit out to left. And that run rule runner is now aboard. And there is another base hit. Tim rambling around third. They're going to wave her in. She will try and score, and she will. And it is an eight-run lead for Oklahoma State. 
for Oklahoma State, just continuing to hit early in the count. They are aggressive. And even with the differential and velocity between Tinsley and Cecil, this team is not fooled by a pitch on the outer half, and she just drives it. A little bit of confusion in the outfield, but again, everybody's out of position. Alchins at center, Grant in right field. Long grounds it to Brady. Nice backhand by Maya to throw to first. Got her for the third out. Malaulu, Edwards. One down, and their pitchers have held the Bruins to just three hits in the one run. Brady ground the ball, and they are down to their final out, trying to stave off back-to-back -back run rule losses for the first time in a dozen years. Swing and a miss. Ball game. Oklahoma State with the 9-1 run rule win over UCLA. Mm-hmm.